guys, in this video I'm gonna be showing I'm gonna be showing you how to create a print and cut file using digital papers. Either digital papers that you purchased from the Silhouette store or digital papers that you got from somewhere else. Now I know um, one of the hyped features of Silhouette Studio Designer Edition was the ability to use um, your own images to create cut and print and cut files, but you can do it with the regular version of Silhouette Studio. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is go up here to the top right hand corner and click show registration marks because I know if I don't do it now, I'll forget. And we will be printing and cutting this, so the registration marks are important. So now that I have that open, I'm going to go to my library and I'm going to select the image I want to use. And it's actually a sentiment that says, love is all you need. Okay, so I have that open. Make that a little bigger. I need it to be about four by six and a half. So... That's good enough. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit in, not out. <laughs> zoom in a little so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I have my image selected. And I'm going to right click and go down to ungroup. Because I would like this image here to have one pattern paper and this image here to have another pattern paper. So I'm going to select my love. And I'm going to go over to this fill screen here. And when you open up your fill, your fill pattern menu, the first section here is going to be all images, or all patterns, I should say, of files that came with your Silhouette Studio software. So all of these were included, free. And down here are patterns that you've purchased. So for my image here, I'm actually going to be using a pattern that came with Silhouette Studio when I downloaded it. And it's going to be this bottom one here, actually. So I'm going to select this bottom one. I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to click on this wood grain, because this is the one I want to use. And I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. So I want to use this wood grain pattern for this section of my cut and print file, or my print and cut. I keep saying it backwards. It is print and cut. Can't really cut and then print it. Anyways. So I have this selected, and you can see it filled in with my wood green pattern. What I need to do now is click on Advanced Options. Now what Advanced Options does is it allows you to manipulate that digital paper that you see. And the wood grain, it imported fine, but I would like for it to be a little bit of an angle. So I'm going to select this option here. So it tw twists it around. And the scale, I don't really care for. I think the scale is too small. I don't think you'll be able to see that when I print it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here using this scale pattern option. Um, also in this menu, you do have the option to make your paper transparent or as opaque as you like for it to be. You can also rotate the pattern or flip it. And you can change, you have some mirror and some aspect ratio options, but that's not, those aren't too frequently used. Okay, so I have my is all you need filled. Now I'm going to select the love sentiment here at the top. And I'm actually going to be using a digital pattern that I downloaded for free from 2Ps. Now, like I said before, this was a, this is one of those things where um, it was a thing that was pitched for Silhouette Studio Designer Edition, but you can do it in this version of Silhouette. Um, it's just not as simple as selecting this fill button up here. So we're going to select this, and I'm going to go to my library, and I have it sorted out, so digital papers are, are separate. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to double-click this Cheers Collection paper. Now, I did double-click it, and you see nothing happened. The only thing that changed was this fill paper uh, appeared next uh, next door, but appeared in a flyout mini here on the side. But if I go back to my main image, you'll see that it did fill in here. Now, you can also manipulate these papers as well by clicking on advanced. And then you can skew it whichever way you want. 
I actually do want to scale this pattern a little bit bigger. And I'm going to pan it. There's a button here that says pan pattern. It actually allows you to move this around. Now, there are a few double lines in here and I wanted to make sure I got one or two of those in. So there's one double line section, there's another double line. Um, I don't know why I felt that was important, but I want both lines in there. So we're gonna go back to basic options, which is all our paper. I'm gonna zoom out. And there you can see I have my file that I'm gonna cut and print, or print and cut, keep saying it backwards, that I'm going to print and then cut. So I'm gonna send this to the printer and cut it out and I'll show you the results. So here's my final product. I've ran it through the printer and through the silhouette. And I won't bore you with the weeding process. But as you can see, it ran through the machine. And there it is, ready to be used on a project. Uh-oh. All right, there's, I think my blade's getting dull because it's stuck right there. But like I said, I won't bore you with the weeding out project part of this. But as you can see, it's all cut out, ready to go. Whoops.